Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this new tutorial we are going to talk about the serial monitor. Actually we've talked about it in the previous videos. We've used the serial monitor to print some useful data. But in this video we are going to use the serial monitor to send data to the Arduino so that we can control it. For example we can turn the LED on when we send the on message and we can turn it off by sending the off message and that's what we are going to do. So before we get started make sure to smash that subscribe button and the notifications bell so that you get notified with my videos when I release a new one. So let's get started. So in this video we are going to use the LED. Of course you need the ohm resistor. We have the 220 ohm resistor and few jumper wires to connect this LED. Then we are going to use the serial monitor to turn it on and off by sending the messages on to turn it on and off to turn it off. So as usual, let's go ahead and connect this LED. So first of all, we need to go from one of the digital pins, for example, the pin number uh, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. Then let's add this 220 ohm resistor. So if you don't know how to connect an LED, make sure to watch my previous videos. The link is under the video description. Then we need to connect the longer leg of the LED with the other leg of the ohm resistor. Then we need to go back to the ground. So I'm going to connect the other side to the GND pin. So first of all, we need to add few variables like the LED pin using int, LED pin, which is the pin number 3. Then we need to use the pin mode to use the LED pin as an output under the setup function. Let's write pin mode, the LED pin, then output. Now we're going to use the serial monitor to turn the LED on and off by receiving data. And to do that, as usual, we need to use serial dot begin. And let's pass in the baud rate, which is 9600. Now to receive data from the serial monitor, we have three steps. The first one is to ask the user about the data by printing a message. So let's go under the loop function and let's use serial dot print Alan and let's print enter on or off. And the second step is to wait the user to send the data. And to do that, we use the while loop. So while serial dot available so this function will return zero if the user doesn't send data so we need to wait when the serial dot available equals zero so if the user doesn't send data we need to enter in this while loop so we've talked about the while loop when this condition is true it's going to call all of the lines of code over here we are not going to call anything it's going to loop again and again until the user sent a data in such case, the serial.available will be greater than zero. So it's going to exit out of this loop. And in such case, we can move to the third step, which is reading the data using serial.readString. We have this predefined method. It's going to read the string. And if you don't know what is a string, basically it's a text like this one. So we are going to read on or off. But we need to save it inside another variable and let's go up here and declare it. The type is string and let's call it message. I'm not going to assign a value to it. In fact, we need to assign the value that is returned by this function, which is going to return the string that we are sending. So let's review the code again. First of all, we've used the serial.begin to begin the serial monitor. Then we've asked the user about the data. So we want a text like on or off. After that, we need to wait until the user send that data. And when he send it, we can read it using serial.readString. Now we can check if it's on. We are going to turn the LED on. But first of all, let's zoom out a bit so that you could see the whole code. We are going to check if the message equals on. Then we open and close these curly braces. We can turn on the LED using digital write. We enter the LED pin. 
Then to turn it on, we can pass in the high keyword. But if the message is off, we can create another if statement using if the message equals off. In such case, we are going to turn it off using digital right LED pin, then low. Now, before we upload the code, let's verify it using this button. And we didn't have errors, we can upload it using this upload button. And let's open up the serial monitor using tools, serial monitor. And as you can see, we have the message enter on or off. So if we send the on message using this send button, but it seems that it's not working, that's because we have here this new line. So our function is not reading the on message, it's reading on with the new line. And to fix that, make sure to change this to no line ending. Now it will just send the on message without returning to the next line. And let's hit send. And there you go, our LED is turned on, so it's working. We can turn it off by sending the off message. And yeah, it's working. Now we can communicate with the Arduino using the serial monitor by reading strings. We can also read numbers like the number of blinks, the delay time or any kind of stuff. So let's create an example. And to do that, instead of creating a string message, let's go ahead and create an int and let's call it number of blinks. Then down here, we need to use serial.begin as usual. First of all, we need to ask the user by writing the message enter the number of blinks. Then we need to wait for the data using this while loop. And in order to read the int and assign it to the number of blinks variable, we need to use serial dot parse int. So we use parse int to read numbers instead of the read string method. Now we are going to use this number to make our LED blinking four times or five times, depending on the data that we send. And to do that, I'm gonna use a for loop. So we've talked about for loops in the previous video. Make sure to check it out. And to do that, let's use for. Then we create a counter. I'm gonna call it i equals zero until the i variable is less than the number of blinks. Then we increment it using i++. So for example, if we read the value 5 under here, all what we write under the for loop is going to be called 5 times. And let's make our LED blinking. And we've talked about that in the first video of the series. So first of all, we need to turn the LED on using digital write. We enter the LED pin. Then we turn it on using the high keyword. And we wait a bit using the delay function. So let's wait for 500 milliseconds. Then we turn it off using digital right, LED pin. Then we pass in low. And we need to wait again using delay, 500. So this is going to blink our LED a number of blinks times, for example, five times. So to check if it's working, let's go ahead and save the sketch and verify it. So everything is okay, we can upload it and make sure to open up the serial monitor. And we have the message, enter the number of blinks. For example, let's enter two, then let's send it. One, two, so our ID is blinking two times. We can send three. And that's pretty much it guys. So that's how we use the serial monitor to read data like strings or numbers. So we've created two cool projects to turn the LED on and off or to pass in the number of blinks like five. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. Also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. I appreciate that. And I will see you in the next one.